Welcome back guys to the final video in our series. Now to close this out, I'm gonna show you a totally different way that you can use dynamic pages to your benefit. Maybe you're not working on a project that requires dozens or hundreds of pages to be created dynamically, but even so you can use dynamic content to save you time when dealing with widget specific content. This method uses connected data, a feature that preceded dynamic pages actually. Using a combination of dynamic pages and connected data allows you to create dynamic content throughout your site. So in this example, let's look at a way I can incorporate customer reviews onto a page using connected data. So here I have a simple data set, but this time it's a Google Sheet with a few columns of content each. We've only got three sample reviews plugged in just for this demo, but of course, this could expand as much as you want. We've got the customer's name, their review, and an image link. So with this in mind, let's jump back to the builder. And I have a sample testimonials page set up here, but just like before, I have a fresh gallery widget just sitting on the page. Nothing here is dynamic yet, but using the information from my data set, I want to incorporate it into this gallery to display my reviews dynamically. So just like before, our first order of business is to create a new collection. So let's select content and collections. And we'll add a new collection. However, this time we're going to select the Google Sheets option. Now to integrate the info from the Google side of things, you just need to sign into the account that holds the Google Sheet. So let me select this. And we get a pop-up with our accounts and I just need to select the one that I'm using for this. Now, if you're not signed in anywhere on your computer, it's gonna prompt you for the password. But if you're already signed into the account like I am, since I already have the spreadsheet pulled up, it's simply going to prompt you for permission to access the account. So let's click allow. And there we go. And now we're presented with a list of all of the spreadsheets associated with this Google account. And first and most recent on the list is my customer reviews spreadsheet. So let's select it, give it a second, and there we go. And if you're having any trouble getting linked up with your Google Sheet, just make sure that your browser isn't blocking any pop-ups for this domain. Now, just like before, our content fields have imported, and now we just need to identify them for the web builder. Page item URL is just text, just like before and customer name and review are both text, image is an image, and a link is a link. And then we can click done. So now back on our testimonials page, the last step here is to link this collection to our gallery widget. So let's right click on it and select connect to data. And let's select Ashton's customer reviews. Perfect. And now we just need to match the various elements of the widget to the fields, just like before. Now image is already set because there's only one image field in the sheet. For title, let's put review. We'll leave description alone and let's put the customer name under the link text. And that's it, we can click done. And let's preview. And now we have a fully functioning gallery with all of our review content loaded in from our Google Sheet, operating dynamically anytime we make changes to the data set. Now here in our Heights template, we've built this template to use dynamic content all over the place. And while you can certainly build your site to have a mix of both static and dynamic content, we wanted to give an example of a site that was almost entirely dynamically served. I'll show you a few more examples of dynamic content using widgets. You'll find the dynamic widgets on Meet the Team page, Properties page, and Communities page. And then back on the home page, we use the same widgets, but with less rows or columns showing to keep things neat and minimal. And one thing to think about here is how to manage your data. If you were building a site like this, you could maintain individual data sets for each, like listings, team, properties, and communities, but you could also keep everything in a single large spreadsheet. And when it comes to your dynamic pages and widgets, you could link the fields to just what is relevant for that specific text field, image, or widget. Well, this brings us to the end of the video series. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this was helpful and perhaps inspired you to use dynamic content to your benefit, whether that be on a huge scale of hundreds of pages or even as simple as a single widget management. Thanks again for joining me, guys. If you have any questions or concerns at all, don't hesitate to hit us up and support. Have a wonderful day.